In the 1960s, the Swedish coastal artillery sought new coastal defense artillery to replace outdated equipment for the defense of important facilities such as ports. For this purpose, Bofors Company specially developed a 120mm coastal defense artillery system, which is the Bofors 12cm automatic turret that entered service in the 1970s, also known as the RSTA, abbreviation for Replacement Heavy Artillery. The automatic turret is actually a fixed-mounted turret-style artillery system, weighing 62 tons, making it a heavy artillery firepower. In fact, the Swedish military at that time considered equipping coastal anti-ship missiles, but for some reason chose traditional artillery. Inside the 4-meter diameter armored turret is a 120mm rapid-fire cannon with a barrel length of 62 calibers. The cannon uses a vertically sliding breech lock and a liquid-cooled barrel. It is equipped with an automatic loading system. The crew needs to place the shells on the elevator below and manually control them to rise, and then hand them over to the automatic loading system for loading. This system allows the artillery to achieve an ultra-high firing rate of 25 rounds per minute and allows for sustained rapid firing for a long time. The direction of the artillery is adjusted by electric motors. It can rotate horizontally 360 degrees, and the barrel can be elevated from minus 5 degrees to plus 45 degrees. It fires fixed ammunition weighing 46.6 kilograms, with a muzzle velocity of 880 meters per second and a maximum range of 27 kilometers. The fortification can store 800 rounds of ammunition. The 12 centimeters automatic turret needs to be placed in specially constructed concrete deep well fortifications. The heavy turret has a protruding ear locking structure to fix the turret and prevent it from being easily overturned by nuclear shock waves. The muzzle is sealed. When the barrel tilts down onto the bracket for fixing, it automatically seals. This is obviously to increase survivability in the event of a nuclear explosion. Even rubber pads for shock absorption are installed below the underground fortifications. A 12 cm automatic turret requires a crew of 12, with three people inside the turret, and the rest responsible for tasks such as ammunition handling, empty shell recovery, and target ranging inside the underground fortifications. The artillery system uses an early digital fire control system and is equipped with a measurement station with radar, laser rangefinder, and other equipment, which maintains a certain distance from the main turret and replaces the periscope with an observation camera. The exposed part of the turret on the ground is usually camouflaged and looks like a rock from a distance. A complete artillery combat system requires 25 personnel, including the crew. The underground fortifications are divided into multiple levels, including ammunition depots, kitchens, storage rooms, restrooms, generator rooms, and other rooms. They can be connected to external power sources during normal times and can operate independently relying on their own generators in special circumstances with a self-sustaining capability of 30 days. According to the requirements, if a nuclear explosion occurs nearby, the members inside the turret need to immediately descend into the underground fortifications for shelter. After withstanding the nuclear shock and initial intense radiation, they return to the turret to continue the battle. The turret does not have standard NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, protection functions, but a layer of radiation protection material is applied to the inner wall of the turret, providing a certain level of protection. Bofors company built a total of 26 artillery systems, eight of which were sold to Denmark. These artillery systems were used until around 2000. Sweden originally planned to upgrade them in the late 1990s, but due to changes in the situation and technological advancements, it was no longer necessary.